Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial and this time I'm going to teach you how to uh, maintain proportions when modeling. Now what does it mean? Um, let's take a cube, okay, for example, and <clears throat> let's say I want to add an edge loop in this side of the cube. So what I'm doing, I'm holding the shift, right click, choose uh, holding the shift, right click, holding the right click and choose insert edge loop, okay? And I'm going to add one more, one edge loop here, okay? Now, let's say I want to add a symmetrical edge loop in this side of the cube, okay? Now, we don't really know where it is, okay? So therefore, we may not really uh, put this uh, edge loop at the correct position um, at the same as in this side okay so I will undo that okay and what we are going to do is we're going to learn um, how we can tell where this uh, edge loop is uh, at okay so um, um, just uh, one uh, one thing before uh, I've already done this in one of uh, my tutorials and I just thought that uh, some subjects should have their own um, little tutorials just for them in order to people to uh, get fast access for those tutorials and this is what I'm basically trying to do I'm trying to take all this uh, uh, you know, complete tutorials I've created, uh, sort of complete, and pull from them uh, some subjects that should have their own uh, tutorials. So, let's continue. Uh, what you should do, you go over here, where it says the uh, channel box, okay? And here at the channel box, you can find this uh, list here, okay? Now, if you click on the poly split ring, which this is the edge loop that I had, okay. Uh, by the way, it's named uh, as poly split ring one, okay. Now, if I will undo one step, you can see it will uh, basically removed, okay. So let's uh, do this all over again. I will bring it back to object mode, and this list uh, jumped down here, and we have this. Uh, all these uh, parameters and hold down the shift, right click, insert edge loop and now I will add this uh, edge loop here, okay? So poly split ring 1 added to here and now you can click on it, okay? Sorry, first, uh, first you need to bring it back to object mode and choose the selection tool, choose the cube and click on this poly split ring okay now here at this poly spling, split ring uh, there are many features you can change uh, values and stuff like this but what I want to look on is this weight here okay the weight I'm not sure why it's called weight but uh, whatever um, this value here the 0 0.032 this is the value that we need to uh, uh, focus on, okay? So I will right click and actually control C to duplicate it, to uh, copy it. In Mac it's command C, okay? And, or just to remember it, uh, hold on the shift, right click, insert edge loop, and add another split uh, edge, edge loop over here and now you can see we have poly split ring 2 now they are not matched you see this one is much more thicker and this one is much more thinner so what we do we bring it back to object mode and then we expand this poly split okay sorry let's bring it back to selection tool expand this poly split and you can see the values of the weight here is different from the values of the split ring 1. So, 0 0.032. So, in this case, we need to 
changes changes to um, probably to negative, but let's try. Uh, okay, uh, somehow brought over there. This is 32. This is 32 also. So let's try negative uh, value. Okay, minus 0 0.02. No, it can be 0. Point, okay, 0. 0.032. No, it can be. So what I what I think we need to do is uh, consider it as uh, 0 to 100, and if this is 100, we need to uh, minus uh, 32 from 100. Okay, so that means uh, 68. And yeah, so always split ring zero point um, ninety eighty eight. Okay, sixty eight. Sorry. All right. Yeah, I think it is correct. Um, yeah, it is correct. Okay, so this is how you um, doing it. Okay, uh, this is the zero point. This is uh, one, and you need to uh, just calculate this this distance, and eventually you will get the desired um, thing. Okay, now same uh, you can do the same just by taking like two cubes. Okay, and move this cube over here and this cube over here and you need two cubes uh, but you don't want a duplicated cube you just need a fresh new cube and you know you want to match them you you want to know uh, where you put this edge loop and then you want to come uh, over this one and you can see uh, first this one the poly spling ring, the poly split ring, uh, three, okay. For uh, probably it's just continuing, um, you know, uh, going up. This is poly split ring three, and it's placed on zero point five zero five. So we want to add another edge loop here, and of course bring back to object mode, and. You see here it's on 0 0.522, so let's change it to 505, like so, and it will move, okay? You can just see how it moves here. Um, you can also uh, click on the weight, hold down the middle mouse uh, wheel, and drag from right to left, it will move, okay? But it's almost like sliding edge or something like this but this is basically it and I thought you need to be aware of this subject so now it will be easier for you like if you are going to combine those two okay and you want to get rid of this face and this face so basically uh, will be equal you can just bridge those two together edit mesh bridge and you will get a straight uh, face uh, attached them, okay? And I think this is mostly it. This is what I was trying to uh, deliver. Um, just try to remember that you can do this um, on any model you do, any form of uh, an object or whatever just to use this uh, values here of the channel box but also pay attention that if you going to use the you're going to turn off the history which is I'm not seeing it right now maybe it's here okay if you turn off the history button which is here so you may want get those values to appear here so let's just try adding one more edge loop uh, you see we stopped at 5 and there is no 
uh, poly splittering six. So let's add another one just to check. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the construction is still turned off and it still do whatever it needs to do, but it was just a check, a simple check. Okay, this is it, um, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope it will help you. Uh, yeah, it could be much more frustrating to model this way, but if you are going to create something that you do need to be precise in what you're doing, so uh, this is the way, this is how you uh, achieve this, okay? And that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed again, and don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, and you can always. Uh, follow me on Facebook and stay updated with any new tutorial that I'm launching and that's all see you